This is Twit. Where's my key? I have a key. Hmm. And I'm not afraid to use it. This is a Yuba key. I love these things. Hmm. The uh, Yuba keys are uh, hardware keys that you use as your second factor of authentication. So when I log into Google, I wish my bank did this. My bank is yeah. still sending me SMS messages. Which are easily spoofed. The worst, yeah. right? Yeah, well, I mean, you can you can clone somebody's SIM card and they just do a little bit of like guessing what high school you went to and your girlfriend's first name, whatever, yeah. your pet's name. Uh, and then they clone your um, SIM card and then they're basically getting every SMS message you get. Including and, all those authentication exactly. messages. Exactly. Yeah. So they did this, by the way, all of those hacks you saw of people who lost cryptocurrency on Coinbase and some other sites. They What they basically did was they looked for people on social media talking about cryptocurrency. Then they found their emails. They spoofed them. Then they just basically stole their crypto right out of their accounts. Oh, my God. Untraceable. Wow. And they did it specifically by spoofing SMS two-factor. Because people were like, oh, I have two-factor on. I can't mm -hmm. get hurt. Yeah. It's like, yes, no. you can. And by the way, if anything falls back to SMS, yeah. that's as bad as SMS. Yeah. This is the really bugs me. There's a number of things that will use an authenticator or a YubiKey, yeah. but then they say, don't have your YubiKey? We could send you a text. Well, guess what? That's what the hacker does. Right. Yes. Oh, no, I don't have my YubiKey. Yeah, I'm a hacker. I don't want to lie on that question. <laughs> I'm going to tell you the right. truth. Nope, mm. don't have it. Send I me a text. can't do it. Uh, so make sure, but this is what Google did for 85,000 plus employees. Uh, since early 2017, they gave them a YubiKey, uh, a security key, hardware security key, and said, you will now, from now on, on your accounts, use this. Zero, since they did that, zero phishing attacks, zero hacks. Mm. They It was 100% security. Right. 100% secure. So much so, and this kind of makes me mad, that Google's decided to make their own. <laughs> the yes. Titan. Uh, which, if I were YubiKey, I'd be both happy at this news yes. and sad at this news. You know, they announced it, and YubiKey was at the event where they announced it. I guess they had found oh, out about it earlier. Lord. But this is what happens. Like, you know, a company like Google will study you or Facebook. They'll partner with you, and then you'll wake up, and your throat will be slit. So yeah. you got to always be paranoid. But if they mainstream this idea, it's good for everyone because Everybody right now, but the, yeah. in terms of all the users out there, the number of people using That's keys true. like More this is like buy you less than 1% yeah. probably. You would yeah. think, but I don't know what YubiKey is going to be able to do to differentiate themselves. Well, I can tell you one thing. Tell me. The Google Titan, if, you've, did you, if you ever set uh, the Google Advanced Protection on, yeah. they say you need two keys. You need a hardware key like a YubiKey. There mm -hmm. are others. And you need a Bluetooth key. And the mm -hmm. reason is the iPhone, frankly, mm -hmm. yeah. because there's no way to use a hardware there's USB NF key. There's no NFC. And the, and the NFC is not. So you have to use Bluetooth. Mm -hmm. So you have to buy both to use mm -hmm. Google's advanced protection. And so Google is building NFC hardware and Bluetooth into this one Titan. Right. That's a mistake right. yeah. because Bluetooth and NFC are not nearly as secure right. as this, That's as right. a YubiKey. Right. Yeah. So maybe there's a little air in there for Yubico. I'd be sad if, if Stina and company uh, kind of failed because of this. On the other hand, you're right. I'm happy yeah. because everybody should be using hardware authentication. I have to point out that um, somebody called me on the radio show and said, well, it, it, which is better, hardware or an authenticator? And I said, well, hardware is better marginally. Mm -hmm. I mean, authenticator is yeah. still pretty good. Because if you lose the phone or somebody gets your secret key, the authenticator, this, they'd actually have to physically have access to the U. But it's also, you can lose that. But you can lose this. And that's why Google, when you use a hardware authentication, also has a button that said, did you lose your Yuba key? And we'll fall back to the authenticator. So in that case, it is exactly as secure right. as the software authenticator. No more because you have a fallback. This is the same, uh, similar thing when um, uh, fingerprint authentication started coming out on phones it doesn't make your phone more secure it makes it less secure because you can still get in with it with a with a passcode passcode so it's now a passcode or Plus, a fingerprint so it's multi multi-factor the, the hackers have How one did they more take option the they paid all that money for the fingerprint company apple yeah then they got rid of it for the face why not have both i think they will right. in the long run you think I so? Think they will. That They'll would be so do the dope. screen as soon as they can perfect. Ah, apparently, the now I Samsung's love. having an event with the Note yeah. uh, Nine in a week on August 9th. and then there's going to be the S10. I'm not sure. I think it'll be the S10, not the Note Nine. Mm -hmm. But apparently, Samsung has solved that problem of uh, oh, fingerprint yeah. through the screen. Yeah. So oh, wow. you don't need a fingerprint reader. You just there's How a certain is that area. Possible? Well, oh, they put a reader underneath and it goes through underneath. the screen. Got it. Yeah, yeah. 
That's interesting. Apparently, the rumor was, I don't know if it's true, and Apple has denied it, that Apple couldn't make that work. So that's yeah. why they, they knew they were abandoning the hardware fingerprint I love reader. the Pixel 2 has the finger on the back. Yeah. That's where it should be. And it's so perfect yeah. when you pick up your phone it mm -hmm. just goes yeah and i would like to be able to have both i, and I have I, the honestly, back yeah. and the front yeah. face Two recognition bio. and everybody gets mad at me when i say this but it, i don't find it to be that reliable uh when i wear sunglasses it doesn't work but other than that it works well, pretty reliable i'll tell me. you the plate the time that really doesn't work for me when i'm in bed lying like this i have to I, this is so i have to sit up <laughs> yes. in bed and do this Hello. Then, hello, hello, hello phone, unlock, and then I can lie down. And I, I find that annoying. Siri, wake up. So it would be really nice to me if it had a fingerprint, but you raised a point that I actually hadn't thought about. That is half as secure in a way. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Also, I think your phone is trying to tell you something. You really shouldn't be using your phone in bed. I don't care. I'm going to. Stop okay. it. All right. <laughs>